we're back. Oh, we're gonna be tying up some black and chartreuse jigs. I got an order for some that were just, um, all he said he wanted was a chartreuse body. So we kind of spruced it up. These were the two-tone jig heads I painted uh, last week, I think. So we're gonna tie these up. And this, just like I said about painting jig heads, it's not hard. You just um, don't be afraid of it. Practice makes perfect. And we are going to be using chartreuse in the tail. Probably a chartreuse feather, maybe two. And some black in there. And what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm I'm picky with my hackle. I want pointy ones. I think I'm gonna take this one right here. That's gonna be one of them. I'm gonna cut that one. When I cut it, I like to cut about this length of the shaft of the hook. That's about how much feather I want hanging off the back side of it. So we are going to take that hackle and cut it off right there. And that's about what I got. About that long. Might be just a little bit too long. We might take a little bit off that. And we're going to set it right there and get ready for the next one. And that one's sitting out there all alone, all by itself. Let's take that one too. So I end up another one just a little bit shorter. Now I'm going to add one black one to it. Go through there and find the one I want. And this one right here is it. So I'm going to take that one black feather. Then I'm going to take one chartreuse feather and I'm going to stack it right on top. I usually don't do three at a time. My fingers don't seem to work good that way, but that's what we got. We got a black one laying right on top of chartreuse one. I'm gonna kind of pull them together some. And we're gonna put that right there behind the ball of the head on the jig head. And we're gonna tie it down right to the shank of the tip of the hook. And we're gonna come back up. So now, since I want that black feather in the middle, I'm gonna take this other one, and I'm gonna tie it down right on the side. Kinda loose at first. That's what I want right there. So, I've got all that feather tied in, all that hackle tied in, now we're gonna go with some flash. Sometimes I try to match the color, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some something sparkly, something to help flash that up a little bit. That's what I'm gonna use, one strand. I'm not sure the name of that. Actually, I'm not sure the name of it. I'm not even really sure where I got it from. If I got it off Amazon, or if I got it off, uh, got it from Plateau Flash Shop. Go back up to the head. And we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut that flash down just a little bit. We're gonna go just a little bit past the length of the feathers. It's gonna be a pretty nice looking jig. It will probably slap a crappie in the mouth. I think these are headed to, uh, I think it was Louisiana. We got our first run strap down and we are going to put a layer of Sally Hansen's on it and usually I roll it up here to where the Chanel's not got that thread on it right there and that's what it's spot I'm going to glue down so next step is we're going to finish wrapping that baby up keep a little tension on it 
And if you got a peak vice, this is where it comes in really handy at. I love this right here. We're going to pull that Chanel over on the other side, and we're going to pull it kind of tight. Wrap it a couple more times. Let's wrap that Chanel in there again. I'm going to reach up in there with your scissors. You're going to cut that Chanel off, and be careful not to cut the thread. I've probably done it 5,000 times. I, I guarantee it. Do the whip finish. We're going to do two of them. And we're going to put a drop of glue on the tip of it if I can find my... There it is over here. I've been using it to stir the powder paint up. I got another bottle of Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails when they start running low. Cut the brush off of it. And that's what I used to glue it down with. And then we were going to put a drop right up here where our knot was, right underneath, and then we're just going to roll it around and get it all coated. That is how I tie my crappie jig. That's a pretty jig. It come out nice. That black and chartreuse, like that classic crappie color. better look at it that's it the two-tone jig paint and jig head the black and chartreuse and the tail that's a good combination very good combination I don't even think I have any of those in my box what's up let's tie another one partner back there is supposed to be painting jig heads and I don't hear that heat gun running. No, he's like swapping his paint out. Cut your tag end off. You know, sometimes you can change this up. You can, um, you could actually tie, let's do it. Let me show you how it comes out. Let's tie, let's go ahead and put our flash in. You just like that, pull it right up over top of your jig head. Pull it down. And you just wrap it right on it. I do this a lot with uh, bucktail and marabou. I don't do it quite so much with the hackle. No really particular reason why, I just sometimes don't. And again, we're going to sort through our hackle feathers, find a good pointy one. That's one. Let's find another one. I'm running low on quite a few colors of hackle. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be down at Plateau Fly Shop tomorrow morning, stock back up. All right, so that's our two chartreuse. Let's find our one good black one in here. The one right there sticking up looks good. I'll take that one. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stack them right up on top of each other. We end up with that. I cut them a little bit short, so I'm gonna move them down the shank of the hook a little bit. Let's tie our other chartreuse one right there sideways. All your feathers have got a bow in them when you get them. It's up to you how you want them. Do you want them laying straight down the hook? Do you want the bends together or do you want the bends out? I usually put the bends out where you got one kind of going up and one kind of going down. And then you have that black one in the middle. 
like it just kind of makes the jig look more like a bug or that's what we got kind of gives it a like it's got wings we'll go back to our Chanel Same way, wrap it down. Being that I was tying these eighth ounce jig heads, I've got a little more room to work in here. I can build that body up some. I don't like tying jigs where my body gets up above the head. I always try to keep it, keep it streamlined, kind of keep it kind of short and down. Fresh on our Sally Hansons or whatever you have. Some people do it with super glue. When I first started tying, I heard so many people talk about using Sally Hansen that it was no doubt that's what I was going to use. And it's easy to get. Chanel off. Boom. Number two. I think it's kind of cool knowing where all my jigs end up. There's a lot of them in Louisiana, a lot in Oklahoma. I got a big order. I'm going to start tying Saturday that's going to Tennessee. what we got it's a pretty jig simple jig simple colors and I do believe they will last a whole lot longer than the plastic jigs my opinion that's what I think I think you've got the chance of catching a whole lot more fish on this jig I think the plastic jigs will give away over time. They, you know, after so many crappie, they kind of get tore up. These will last. They'll hold up. They're good for shooting docks. That tail's tied in so tight. But that is what we got. What's the name of this one? What did we name this one? Remember? I don't think so. The Joker? I think it was. Might have been. I think it might have been what me and him named this one was the Joker. Tying jigs is not as hard as what you think. You can get started doing it pretty cheap. You can start out expensive. You can make it how you want it. If you are going to do it and you get serious about it, really look into the Peak Vice. I think you'll like it. It's really smooth, really easy to work with. I love that rotation, just reaching back with my finger, turning it. Um, any questions, comments, anything y'all want to see, I do this because y'all are watching. So if you got ideas that you want me to do, I know I've had a guy ask me several times about tying some out of squirrel, squirrel hair. And I will end up doing that eventually. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at the squirrel tail over on the table. It'll make for a good jig, right? I mean, you got some pretty long hairs right there. Pretty cool color hairs too. You got white, black, brown. Goes back to black. We might do that sometime this weekend. That's kind of got me wanting to tie one now. I was looking to see if I had a jig head painted I could do it with, but I don't believe I do. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. We're gonna get off here, go to bed. Actually, probably gonna tie about five more jigs. Um, thank you for all this, for subscribing. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, coming up here pretty soon, we're going to have the boat out on the water. We'll get old Frankenstein back out. It's ready for another run. Yeah. Go check, see what the crop you're doing. We might give it a shot this weekend. We might do some video on the boat. Uh, stay tuned. I got some good 
good content that's going to be coming up here pretty soon you might be interested in. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. See you guys. Of course, he had a butt in. Tell him goodnight, Grub. <laughs>